Hi guys, Joe here, and today I'm going to show you how to connect to blocked Wi-Fi networks on a Mac. Okay, so to start, what we're going to be changing is the MAC address of your computer. So this is a random mix of digits and letters, which essentially determines what your device looks like to a Wi-Fi router. So people can block you using this address, and by changing it, we're essentially pretending we're a different device. So to start with, you're going to need to download my program for either 10.11 El Capitan, like I have here, or 10.10 .10 Yosemite. So to show you how the address changes, I've got terminal here, and I've got this command, which will show me what my MAC address is. So I've changed this before the video, but there's a MAC address. So all you're going to need to do is open up the program you downloaded, type in your password, and you'll see Wi-Fi turn off and back on. So, if you were blocked on a Wi-Fi network, now's when you'd go in and try connecting again after you've changed your MAC address. Keep in mind though, every time you reboot, log out, or restart your computer, your MAC address will go back. So every single time you log in or start up, you're going to need to run this program or else it's not going to work. So I'll just show you how it's changed here. So we can see there um, that the MAC address has changed. And so if you want to change the MAC address to something different than the one I've provided in the program, all you need to do is simply go to the website in the description, which is a MAC address generator. So make sure you have it set to the um, address format with the semicolons. Click generate and copy this address. Next, open up Automator. Drag the program to the icon. And then you want to replace these uh, the address here with the one you've just copied and then press command s and you'll see that if we run this again and check the mac address once it's connected so if we check the mac address we'll see it's changed yet again to that one I just copied. So as I was saying earlier, every time you restart or log off, it's going to forget the MAC address which you've spoofed and go back to its original one. So an easy workaround around this might be to go into your users and groups in system preferences and simply drag the program into here. So every time you start up, it will ask for your password again. However, it can change your MAC address when you log in. So I think that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribing and liking is always really helpful for me. And yeah, hope you have a good one.